Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Before we get started, I'd like to thank everybody that has left a comment or subscribed on my channel. If you haven't, please do so. Today we're going to be solving problem 905, sort array by parity. This is an easy problem by classification. It states, given an array A of non-negative integers, return an array consisting of all the even elements of A followed by all the odd elements of A. Okay. You may return any answer array that satisfies the condition. So we're given the input array 3, 1, 2, 4, and then we output 2, 4, 3, 1. So you can see that all of the even numbers are in front of all of the odd numbers. And you can have various outputs as long as the odds are in the back and the evens are in the front, the answer is um, reported as correct okay so any of these variations will actually work so let's get started so what i'm going to do here is just copy this signature here this method signature or function signature and i have an old project i'm just going to use that i'm just going to go in here and create a new java class i'm going to call this one uh, parity all right just for short and let me go into presentation mode okay I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that function here it's just complaining because we haven't returned anything all right so there are two ways we can do this first we can actually allocate an extra array right and return that and we just have to use two pointers for this okay so we want all of the odds to be in the back and all of the evens in the front. So if we have two pointers, when we find an even, we just increment from the front and we place that in the front. And when we find an odd, we put that in the back and then we just decrement, okay? So what we can do is we can say uh, int, right, front, it's gonna equal to zero and int, back is going to equal to a dot length minus one all right so now we just need to go through the uh, digits in a all right or the values in a we're going to say for int value right you can use the for each loop and a all right so we're going to say if right the um, value right and one is equal equal to zero so and one could be replaced with mod two all right so we're just saying that if the value mod two is equal equal to zero but we're using bitwise and here to uh dictate to see if a number is odd or even right so if the number here is uh even then all we have to do is we have to then create that extra array. So I'm gonna say that here, I'll say parity array. All right, it's gonna equal to new int array and we just pass an a at length. Right. Now you can just say that um, parity, right? And then we can say uh, the front, right? Plus plus. Is gonna equal the value else we'll do parity and then we'll do back minus minus right it's gonna equal the value so here we're just saying that if the if the value is odd is even right if the value here is even then we're gonna place it in the front and then we're just gonna uh, increment that index location for the next even that we find, all right? And if it's not even, then definitely it's odd. So we're gonna place that in the back and then we're gonna decrement that. So we create a space to put that in the next uh, odd in the back. All right, so once we have this, we're pretty much done. We just need to go ahead and return the uh, parity array. All right, so let's go ahead here and just create uh, main so do public static void main string array oops string array arcs all right you can also do this too 
if you want. Normally I do this, this is gonna save me the typing. All right, so we can create a new array. So it's an int array, array, gonna equal new int array, and just pass it some value. So we're gonna pass in, let's say three, one, two, and four, All right? And what we wanna do is just do SLT here and do arrays dot two string. And we need to pass in the sort parity. And also to make this easier, I'm gonna make this static, All right? So we can just call it here. So I'm gonna do a So the sort array, and we're gonna pass in the array. All right, and then kind of make this a little bit smaller so we can all see. And let's just run this here. All right. And you guys can see that we do get all of the values in the array in the order that um, the uh, problem actually states. So we have all of the odd, all of the even numbers in front of the odd numbers. All right, and so we're good with this part. So the thing is that can we do this also by not using right a new allocation, a new array, right? Yes, we can. Okay, so we can also do this without having to allocate a new array by swapping values. All right. So that's going to be the second solution I'm going to show you guys. So I'm just going to go and I'll copy this signature here. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste this here, and. I'm going to change this from uh, just going to put uh, in place. All right, so we have this. So what we want to do is we want to still do that. I uh, want to go. Let's do it here. Let's do uh, int equals. Uh, let's do low uh, and high. Do it going to be a dot length minus one. I just, I just don't want to put everything sort of a for loop. I want to make this a little bit, I can use a while loop here. So when say while the low, right, is less than high. All right, so I want to say that if, right, A, and for some reason Java complains every time you use the and without having to place them inside of another um, bracket or brace. So I don't, I don't know why. But if if uh, a dot low right and one right is not equal to zero, meaning that it's actually odd right, and you want to do um, a that and then high right and one is equal equal to zero. So if we have this, we want to go ahead and actually swap. So I'm just going to come here and finish this later on because I have to go ahead and write that swap function. You can do it inside of here as well. It might be even be better, right? Because you can create the temp outside of the loop. And then when you do the swapping, you don't have to recreate uh, temp again, which actually makes your programs a little bit faster since you don't have to recreate the variable over and over again. All right, it's, it's optional how you guys want to do this. You can also swap by using the XOR operator if you want to use that, uh, if you know how to use uh, the XR operator, you can do that too, okay? But I'm not gonna do that in this video because I'm trying to do this for more for clarity, right? So you can recreate this as well. Uh, you can do this in Python in one line of code, okay? So it depends on the language. Just get the logic of the problem right first before you try to implement it. Next, we're gonna say uh, if, right? And we're gonna do um, if A, low, right? And one, if that is a uh, equal equal to uh, zero, then what we want to do is we want to say low plus plus, and we just have to reverse this logic for high. So I can just go ahead here, copy this, and just paste this here, and here we're going to change this to high, and if this is not equal to zero. Then we're gonna decrement high. So we're gonna say high minus minus. 
And what I'm going to do here is just write the uh, the swap outside. So I'm going to say uh, public static void swap we need array so i'm just going to create that int array a here and we need int low and int high next we want to create a temp variable it's going to say temp is going to equal to a low i'll be right back excuse me i had somebody knocking on my door so let's go ahead and finish this and they're going to say uh, a low, right, is going to equal a high and a high is going to equal temp. All right, so now that we're at this portion, all we have to do is just pass in that swap. It's going to swap a low and high and then we just need to go ahead and return a and this portion is done all right so let me make it a little bit smaller so we can kind of see this i'm gonna do srt again and do arrays uh, to string and then we're going to do a sort, right, by parity in place, and we're going to pass in the array. So this should still prov uh, produce an answer for us. I'm going to go ahead and run this. All right. And it should be done. So you can see the difference here is that uh, here, the floor actually comes first. Because of the way that we actually run, uh, we check the numbers, the floor comes first here, all right, and then the two. However, the even numbers are still in front of the odd number, right? Of all of the odd numbers. So we still get the same solution, all right? So this solution will go ahead and match um, exactly what they wanted. Because if we have either a, a four or a two, right? Or a two and a four, uh, it doesn't really matter, all right? So there are still are acceptable they're all acceptable acceptable solutions all right guys this will be it for this tutorial if you like it just give me a thumb up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so i will see you guys in the next tutorial have a good day bye bye